Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will discuss how to add your website to a Google Search Console. If you want to get your website to the top of the Google as soon as it's possible, you should use Google Search Console. It will help you to see which queries bring users to your site and which pages are most popular in Google Organic Search. First, open the Google Search Console website. If you haven't added projects yet, you will see the welcome screen where you can add your first website. Hmm. There are two types of adding properties, which one to choose? Choose domain type if your website has subdomains and you want to track all of them in one property, or you have an access to your domain name system DNS account. Choose URL prefix type if you want to track only a specific domain address without any subdomains, or you want to verify your property using another method without DNS verification. Here is a quick screenshot of Search Console guide that can help you to understand how property types differ. The link to the full guide will be in the description. As soon as you choose property type, you will need to verify its ownership. I choose a URL prefix type because in this case I can show you how to work with each verification type. Here is a screenshot from Search Console guide that can answer most questions you may have about the verification. First goes HTML file upload. If you choose to verify your ownership with this method, you should download the provided verification file. This file is unique to you. It cannot be used to identify anyone else and it is associated with your Gmail account. Then upload the verification file to your website so that it will be exposed in the location that was specified on the verification details page. This is typically the root directory of your property. Then confirm that you can see the file by visiting it in your browser in the location specified by the Search Console verification wizard. If the file is not available to your browser at this URL, Google won't be able to find it for verification purposes. Then complete the verification by clicking Verify at the Verification Details page. Completing these steps, you can go to the property. If you want to verify this property ownership using another method, you should go to Settings and then to Ownership Verification. Now let's see how to verify your ownership using HTML tag method. Choose the HTML tag method for verification. Copy the tag from the Search Console verification wizard into the head section in the HTML of your site's homepage. Save the updated version of the page. Then complete verification by clicking Verify on the verification details page. If you have a Google Tag Manager or a Google Analytics account active on your website, you can verify ownership of your site using them. In this case, Google Search Console will just check your website added to your account and if there is a needed website, the verification will be confirmed automatically. Domain verification is required to verify a domain property, but can also be used to verify an URL prefix property. This verification method involves submitting a record into your domain name provider's records list. First, choose a domain name provider method and copy the unique TXT record that Google Search Console created for you. Log into your domain name provider and open specific domain settings. Add your Search Console TXT record to your domain DNS records. Then, complete your ownership verification by clicking Verify on Google Search Console verification details page. Important that for many installed records, it can take up to 2 or 3 days for your provider to start serving the records. If you have followed the manual domain name provider instructions above and the verification fails, wait a day or two and try again. That was it for today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you still have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at sitechecker.pro. See you in the next videos.